Oriel's Dream. Oriel's Dream is a visually focused mod list for Skyrim VR. The colors are warmer, theme is high fantasy. It's complemented with greatly tuned community shader setups. No changes were made to the perks or leveling or creating systems, and so by default, this is a vanilla game. But optional mods are provided to add popular game changing mods, and as well as that, there are two game modes, hard mode and survival mode. This mod pack comes packed with so many visual stunning changes. Changes to ease of life, changes to the weather systems, changes to the nights and environments, and changes to all of the textures. All in all, this mod list is absolutely visually stunning. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to install this mod list for Skyrim VR, as well as how to edit it in Mod Organizer 2, and how to add more mods to it, or to set it so that you have the most incredible experience while still enjoying the vanilla game. So guys, please sit back and enjoy, and make sure to follow all the chapters to make sure you haven't missed any steps. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please make sure to drop them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always guys, if this video has been helpful for you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help the channel. And without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing I would always recommend doing is making a fresh install on an SSD or an M.2. Always use a fresh install and always make sure there are no mod conflicts from previous installs. And once you've done that, run the game. All you need to do is run it once, get to the menu and then exit and that'll create all the required files for this mod list to work. Once we've done that, we're going to head over to wabberjack.org and we're going to download Wabberjack. Bear in mind, all of the links to all of the downloads will be in the description of this video, so do have a look. And once I've downloaded Wabberjack, I'm going to go over to the root folder of my SSD and I'm going to create a new folder called Wabberjack. Now this is where I'm going to place Wabberjack and where all of the mods are going to be downloaded to. So make sure you have plenty space. The mod list is around about 100 gigabytes, but I would recommend having twice that amount just to ensure that there are no issues during the installation process. And now that I've dropped Wabberjack into that folder that I've just created, I'm going to create another folder inside the Wabberjack folder called mods. And this is the directory the mods are going to be downloaded into. And this is all going to be made clear once I run Wabberjack. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Now the first time you run the Wabberjack installer, it's going to propagate all the files required in the folder to make Wabberjack work. So it might take a little bit longer than normal. Now once I have Wabberjack running, I'm going to go over to the mod list section and I'm going to have a look and see what mod lists are available. If I select game, I can scroll down to Skyrim VR and that'll show me the Skyrim VR mod lists. Now from this menu, if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see Oriole Stream. And from Oriole Stream, I want to click the download button just on the bottom right corner. And what this is going to do is download the mod list. It's not going to download the mods, but it's going to download the file which will make Wabberjack download the mods. And that'll become clear very soon. Now once the mod list is downloaded, we can go straight over to the play button and we're going to need to set our paths. But first we'll see a nexus page which will show us some extra additional instructions and some additional downloads. But if we move back to Wabberjack, we're going to set our first path and that's going to be where the mods download to. So we're going to find the folder called mods which we created earlier. Now once you've done that, it'll automatically create a folder called downloads inside our mods folder so we can push play. Now I've done it this way so that you can see a little bit of troubleshooting because it is very important that you actually log into your Nexus account using Wabberjack and you make sure your Nexus account is a premium account. It's very important you do that in order to automatically download all of these mods. If you don't, you'll have to do that all one by one and there's 741 of them. So it's a very long process. So this is a little bit of troubleshooting for you guys. Before you actually download the mod list, make sure that you are logged into Nexus 
and you have a premium account and I'm going to show you that now. So here we are in Webberjack and I'm pushing the cock button and here it says Nexus Mods. Make sure you log in from here and make sure your account is a premium account. If you don't have a premium account, it's only about £5 for a month. So you can just pay £5 and then cancel your subscription. But that's how you do it guys. And this is what it'll look like when it is successfully downloading. It should take about an hour or two depending on your network. But once it's done, it's going to look like this. Now that we've successfully downloaded the mod list, we can make changes in MO2. And I'm going to show that to you now. Now we're going to head over to our Webjack folder and we're going to go into mods. And inside mods, you're going to see a file called Mod Organizer 2. Now it doesn't always have an icon, so it can be quite tricky to pick up, but it's the application. What we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're going to want to create a shortcut for it. So if we go over to show more options, if you're using Windows 11, we're going to create a shortcut and we're going to drag that onto our desktop. That's going to make it easier for us to access this without having to go into the Wabberjack folder every time. With the icon on our desktop, we're going to right click it. We're going to hit properties and then we're going to hit compatibility and what we want to do is make sure that it is compatible to run as administrator it's very important that we do that to make sure there are no issues or no bugs and once we've done that we are ready to run mod organizer 2 and we are ready to configure our oriel stream experience now mod organizer 2 can be a little bit daunting to look at but i promise you it is actually very simple and very easy to use especially when set up through a mod organizer like this all we're really going to be doing is ticking and unticking all the options we want on the left hand side so let's get on to it from top to bottom we're going to look at our bindings and i would recommend using kvites also on upscaling we have DLAA which is a higher end computer upscaler try all three but I'd recommend DLAA after that we can go to optional mods such as open composite I would highly recommend open composite and I'm going to go for the higher end because I'm a big fan of archery we're going to select Lux brighter lights that's going to make the lighting really impressive and we're going to select our grass density I'm going to have it higher up and Bear in mind, I do have a high-end PC, so you might need to experiment a little bit here. When we look at reshade, I'm going to go for low glamour. I'm not going to select vibrant because I'm not too keen on over vibrant colors. Now, Mantella is an incredible software suite, which allows you to talk to NPCs using AI and large language models. And I've got plenty of guides on them. So check out my channel. But we won't get into that right now. Further down, we have haptics mods if you have a haptic suit. And further down, we have seated mods, we have physical dodge, we have all kinds of mods. So do have a play with them. You can disable them if they don't work for you. Now, I'm a big fan of archery, so I'm going to choose simple, realistic archery. And I'm going to select which versions I want to basically enhance that mod. Or I'm just going to leave them blank. That's completely up to you. And now if we scroll further down, we're also going to see some cool mods such as Ordinator. If you select Ordinator, make sure you get the VR patch. If you're playing in VR, obviously you will be. Now, this is an excellent mod, which increases your skill tree. And also we've got an awesome mod called Apocalypse, which adds hundreds and hundreds of new spells, which you can find around the world. And last but not least, We've got a bunch of other mods which we can select. I really recommend that you experiment with them, but we also have our game modes such as survival and hard mode. Survival will obviously add food requirements and sleep requirements and hard mode will just make the game a lot harder. I highly recommend you select just a couple of them and experiment with them. And as you can see, any options below the ones that we have just listed it is saying please do not change any of the settings below this point and that's because you can cause conflicts you can cause crashes and because the wonderful team over at Oreo stream and fuss have made sure that it is all perfectly balanced so do not mess with those settings just set the ones above and once we've configured our mods we can go over to the run button on the top right corner as long as your headset is connected you're gonna get injected into an incredible VR experience. 
Now it is worth noting that when you first start the game and go through the character creation section you will be in an alternate start mod and that will be so that you don't have to sit through a huge long intro trailer which I'm sure you've played a million times before. In this alternate start mod you get to choose your class, you get to pick up some starting gear and you get to choose which town you start from. I would always recommend starting from White Run, and that's just so that I can start the main quest and then all the side quests will come after. And guys that is everything you need to know about modding your game to play with Oriel Stream. I really do hope that this has been helpful. Don't forget guys you can add some extra mods to this mod list through MO2 but make sure that there are no conflicts or no issues before you do so. If this has been helpful please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of content like this and will be releasing a lot more in the future. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.